Hello students, I am Sir Glenn, your subject teacher. Welcome to General Mathematics Grade 11. Our fifth module is all about logarithmic functions. The first lesson under this module, Introduction to Logarithms. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng isang uh, logarithm? So, malalaman natin yan under this lesson. A function is 1 to 1 if its graph satisfies the horizontal line test. Alam naman natin yan since we tackled this already. Like linear functions, an exponential function is a 1 to 1 function. So, in our previous videos, uh, nung na-discuss natin exponential function, there is an example there na na, na graph yung isang exponential function. So, nung na-graph siya, nakita natin na yung graph niya ay either increasing or decreasing. So, curve siya. Uh, possible na kapag nag-increase si x, nag-increase din si y, or uh, possible din na kapag nag-increase si x, as x increases, y decreases. So, doon sa kanyang graph, if we try to draw several horizontal lines there, matatouch lang niya yung graph at exactly one point. So, meaning, 1 to 1 siya, at since 1 to 1 siya, existing yung kanyang uh, inverse function. So, exponential function in the exponential function y is equal to a raised to x, ang kanyang inverse ay x is equal to a raised to y. But looking at its inverse, uh, hindi pa siya uh, masyadong maayos na naisulat since in writing the inverse of a specific function, dapat yung y nandito siya sa left-hand side ng ating equal symbol. So, how are we going to do that? We make use of logarithmic functions. So, the inverse of an exponential function is a logarithmic function. So, inverse pala ng exponential function si logarithmic function. So, for the definition, for all positive real numbers x and b, b is not equal to 1, there exists a real number y such that y is equal to log base b of x if and only if x is equal to b raised to y. So, it is read as log to the base b of x or simply log base b of x. So, example, log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4 since 3 raised to 4 is equal to 81. So, uh, looking at the exponential form, yung base natin siya yung nasa subscript ni log, yung exponent natin dito sa ating uh, exponential form, yun yung sagot sa ating log log base b of x at yung x dito yung answer natin sa ating exponential form, yun yung number which comes right after the base, the subscript b. Okay, so in our example, yung, na, yung subscript siya yung base, yung sagot sa ating logarithmic form, siya yung exponent ni exponential form, at yung number na, na nakatabi, which comes right after the subscript, which is 81, siya yung sagot sa ating exponential form. Okay? Example, we write the following logarithms to exponential form. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we will write the following logarithmic expressions to its equivalent exponential form. So, example 1, item number 1, we have the log, log base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. So, this can be written as uh, first the base, then the right side of the equal symbol is the exponent, and then this one is the answer. So, this is our exponential form for item 1. Second example, log base 5 of 1 is equal to 0. So, base is 5. Base is 5. The answer is the exponent. And then, this one is uh, the answer for the exponential form. For the third item, log base 6 of 1 all over 6 is equal to negative 1. So, the base, exponent, and the answer, 1 all over 6. Understood? Example number 2. Without using a calculator, find the value of the following logarithmic expressions. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, without using a calculator, find the value of the following logarithmic expressions. So, since we are asked to identify the specific value of each logarithmic expression, 
without even uh, using a calculator we denote or we equate each of the given to x so x will serve as the value of each logarithm expression so how are we going to uh, find the value of each expression we transform each to its equivalent uh, exponential form so this one this is the log base 2 of 32 is equal to x so the base is 2 exponent is x and the answer is this one 32 so we know that 32 is a multiple of 2 so that is equivalent to 2 raised to 5 since 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32 since we already have the same base uh, we can disregard the base we can bring down the exponents we have x is equal to 5 so this is the answer for the second uh, item log base 9 of 729 is equal to x so 9 is the uh, base x is the exponent and 729 is the answer for our exponential form so we know that 729 is a multiple of 9 how so 729 divided by 9 is 81 uh, 81 is a multiple of 9 as well 9 and 9 so ilang beses nag appear si 9 we have 3 times so therefore 729 is equivalent to 9 raised to 3 or 9 cubed they already have the same base we disregard the base we bring down the exponent so the answer is x is equal to 3 for the third item log base 5 of 5 is equal to x so 5 is the base x is the exponent and 5 is the answer so since same na sila ng base at alam natin na lahat ng uh, constant terms lahat ng numbers ng exponent niya ay 1 so we can immediately disregard the base and we bring down the exponent so x is equal to 1 for item 4 we have log base 1 half of 16 is equal to x so 1 half is the base the exponent is x, the variable x, and the answer is 16. So, uh, we know that 16 is a multiple of 2. So, 16 can be written as 2 raised to 4. Since 2, if we multiply it by itself 4 times, the answer will be uh, 16. Say, so 1 of naman, uh, it can be written as... <coughs> uh, it can be written using 2 as the base. So, alam natin na ang exponent ng denominator ay 1 so if we apply the law of exponents so this can be negative itataas natin siya 2 raised to negative 1 and then erase ulit kay x so multiplying this one power of a power so negative 1 times x is we have negative x and then you bring down 2 raised to 4 pareho na ng base we disregard the base so negative x is equal to 4, multiply this one using negative 1. Negative 1 times negative x is positive x, and 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Ibig sabihin, this is our answer, x is equal to negative 4. For item 5, we have log b 7 of 1 is equal to x. So we know this will be 7, the b is 7, the variable, the variable is the exponent, and the answer is 1. So we bring down 7 raised to x. We know that any number raised to 0, except 0 is 1, and then uh, yung base dito ay 7. So, ipapattern natin siya dito. So, ibig sabihin, uh, 7 raised to 0 is equivalent to 1. Okay? So, kung ganito yung nakita mong example at 1 yung nandito sa part na to, uh, ang gagamitin mong base ay pareho doon sa base nung nasa left-hand side ng ating equal symbol para ma-cancel out or ma-disregard yung base and we immediately bring down the exponent. So, same na yung base nila, we disregard the base, we bring down their exponents. We have x is equal to 0. So, number item uh, 6, we have log base 5 of 1 over square root of 5 is equal to x. So, 5 is the base. The base. Uh, the exponent is the variable and then the answer is 1 all over square root of 5 so 5 raised to x alam natin na si 1 all over square root of 5 it can be, it can, it can be written as 1 all over 5 raised to 1 all over 2 so fractional exponent 5 raised to x is equal to ito para ma 
uh, maitaas siya, the exponent will be negative. So, 5 raised to negative 1 all over half. 1 all over 2. With this regard, uh, the bases, the base, so we bring down their exponents. So, therefore, the, the base or the answer is x is equal to negative 1 all over 2. Understood? All about logarithms. Logarithms and exponents allow us to express the same relationship in two different ways. The following table shows how the expressions in the previous example can be written using two equivalent forms. So, as you can see in example A, the first item, log, log base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. So, as you can see, yung subscript siya yung base ng exponential form. Yung sagot sa ating logarithmic form, which is 5 siya yung exponent that na, ng ating exponential form. At yung number which comes right after the subscript, which is 32, yan yung sagot sa ating exponential form. Same process, 9 is the base, exponent, and then answer. 5 is the base, 1 is the exponent, 5 is the answer. 1 half is the base, negative 4 is the exponent, 16 is the answer. 7 is the base, 0 is the exponent, 1 is the answer. And lastly, 5 is the base, negative 1 half is the exponent, and the answer is 1 all over square root of so observations from uh, these examples logarithmic form y is equal to log base v of x and the exponential form is v raised to y is equal to x in both forms v the base v is the base it is always greater than zero at hindi siya pwedeng mag equal kay one take note of that in the exponential form y is the exponent but y is equal to log base b of x. This implies that the logarithm is actually an exponent. So looking at the exponential form, yung y dito ay exponent. Pero sa logarithmic form, yung y yun yung sagot mismo sa ating logarithmic form. So definitely, yung logarithmic form natin ay isa palang exponent. Exponent lamang siya. Okay? It is actually an exponent. In the logarithmic form, log base b of x, x cannot be negative. So, take note of that. Yung x dito sa dalawang forms na ito, hindi siya pwedeng mag-negative. And also, hindi siya pwedeng mag-zero. Okay? For example, log base 2 of negative 8 is not defined since 2 raised to any exponent will never result to a negative number. So, take note, uh, ang lahat ng numbers, kapag ni-raise siya sa specific na exponent, it is impossible for us to generate a negative result. Okay? In both forms, y can be negative. So, take note of that. Si y, pwede siyang mag-negative. Pwede mag-negative yung exponent natin. Pwede mag-negative yung result sa ating uh, logarithmic form. So, for example, for example, we have y is equal to log base b of 1 over 1 to 5. If we try to transform this in exponential form, 5 will be the base, y will be the exponent, and... 1 all over 125 is the answer. 1 all over 125 can be written as 1 all over 5 cubed since 125 is a multiple of 5. So applying the law of exponent, uh, pwede natin itaas ito, mag negative yung exponent niya. Same na base, so we bring down their exponents. y is equal to negative 3. So nag negative si y, possible na mag negative si y. Okay? To summarize, b, the base, is always greater than 0 and should not be equal to 1. So, bawal siyang mag-negative, bawal siyang mag-0, bawal siyang mag-1. Laging positive si base. Yung x naman, yung result sa ating exponential form at yung number na katabi ni ating subscript, it can never be negative and can never be 0. Bawal siyang mag-negative, bawal siyang mag-0. Then, lastly, yung exponent natin at yung ating sagot sa ating logarithmic form, which is y, it can be negative and also it can be 0. In addition to that, y can be 0. We have common logarithms here. Log of x is a short notation for log base 10 of x. So take note, kapag nakita mo na walang naka-indicate na base, automatic ng base niya ay 10. The function f of x is equal to e raised to x called the natural exponential function has important applications in mathematics. Logarithms with base e are called natural logarithms and are denoted by ln or ln. Ln is pronounced as ln. Ln. In other words, ln x is another way of writing log base e of 
X. So, take note of that. Kapag nakita mo na may LN dyan, automatic na natural logarithm siya, you can rewrite it this way. Log base E of X. Example 3, rewrite the following exponential equations to logarithmic form whenever possible. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we rewrite the following exponential equations to its equivalent logarithmic form whenever possible. So, item A, we have 5 cubed is equal to 125. That will be log base 5 of 125 is equal to 3. So, this is the answer. Second item, we have uh, 7 raised to negative 2 is equal to 1 over 49. So, that will be uh, log b, b7 of 1 over 49 is equal to negative 2. Third item, 10 squared is equal to 100. That will be log base 10 of 100 is equal to 2. Since uh, yung base i10, we can simplify this further. This will be log of 100 is equal to 2. So take note kapag ang base ay 10, hindi na kailang ilagay yung 10 doon sa logarithmic form. Example, for item number 4, we have uh, 2 thirds squared is equal to 4 all over 9. This would be uh, log base 2 thirds of 4 all over 9 is equal to 2. So, this is the answer. Example, for item 5, 0 0.1 raised to negative 4 is equal to uh, 10,000. This will be log base 0 0.1 of 10,000 is equal to negative 4. Uh, 6 item, 4 raised to 0 is equal to 1. This will be log base 4 of 1 is equal to 0. The seventh item, 7 raised to b is equal to 21. This will be log base 7 of 21 is equal to b. Item 8, we have e squared is equal to x. So this will be log base e of x is equal to 2. Since uh, natural logarithm siya, this can be uh, simplified further. This will be ln of x is equal to 2. This is the answer. So again, kapag ang base ay e, uh, you can uh, simplify it further. Uh, logarithm of uh, log base e can be written as ln, okay, ln. And then, for the last item, uh, looking at the given, yung ating base ay negative, which is uh, prohibited prohibited na mag-negative yung ating base, yung base natin ay uh, dapat greater than, zero, uh, greater than zero at hindi siya pwedeng mag-equal kay 1. Since nag-negative yung base, ibig sabihin, uh, this is uh, not not an exponential uh, equation or expression. This is not an exponential expression. Therefore, this has no logarithmic form. Understood? Example 4. Rewrite the following logarithmic equations to exponential form. For the solution, watch this video. In this example, we rewrite the following logarithmic equations to exponential form. So, item E, we have the log, log of m is equal to n. So again, kapag hindi na naka-indicate kay log yung, b, uh, yung base, automatic ng base ay 10. Okay, take note of that. So definitely, this will be 10 raised to n is equal to m. Uh, item B, we have log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. So base is 3, exponent is 4, and the answer is 81. Item C, we have log base square root of 5 of 5 is equal to 2. So that will be base is square root of 5. Uh, the, the exponent is 2. And then the answer is 5. 
Item D, we have log base 3 all over 4 of 64 all over 27 is to negative 3. So, 3 fourth is the base. Negative 3 is the exponent. And uh, the answer is 64 all over 27. Uh, item E, we have log base 4 of 2 is equal to 1 half. So, 4 is the base. 1 half is the exponent. And 2 is the answer. Item F, we have log of 0 0.001 is equal to negative 3. Again, similar siya kay example A. Hindi indicated yung base, so automatic ng base ay 10. So, 10 raised to negative 3 is equal to 0 0.001. And for the last item, item G, we have ln of 8 is equal to A. So, si ln, pwede siyang i-write as the logarithm or log base E of 8 equal to a so e is the base a is the exponent and a is the answer so that's how we rewrite a given logarithmic equation that's equivalent exponential form understood for the activities do self test 1.1 on page 8 and do the supplemental activity 1 which has three parts Find the value of the following logarithms. Write the following exponential equations to logarithmic equations. And lastly, write the following logarithmic equations to exponential form. Submission of all outputs will be until Monday.